Hello people of now Photoshop welcome back to my tutorials in English with Joe that's me and we are gonna be fixing a image that is small and pixelated as fuck and how we can help that how we can fix that it's really easy I'm gonna show you how to do that um but before we do that I have to say this San Valentine's Day is approaching and you would say, what's the relation between fixing a pixelated small image with some Valentine's Day? Well, my life is a small pixelated image when it comes to, you know, some Valentine's Day. <laughs> right now, I see some Valentine's Day as a day for relationships, friendship, and, you know, your family and whatever. But couples in love is what sells in this, you know, day. And I have a business here where I'm trying to take care of. So in the name of that, I'm going to do something for San Valentine's Day. And the relationship is that, you know, in my head, I had this image. And to me, it was like the girl wants to do a composition for his boyfriend in Photoshop. But the image she has, which is this one, it's small and it's pixelated. So... What can she do? Like, what's the next step? Like, my life is ruined. No, because I can't help you. And she really has to use this image. So I'm going to help her. <sighs> but you can use it for whatever. You know, if you have to do a homework or whatever, you can, you know, just fix it. Got the damn picture. Now, first thing is that I am going to do a copy. Just, I am just, ju I'm going to do it. You don't have to do it because it's just... For me to you know do like the before and after thing for you guys now the girl was like my picture is so small oh my god what can I do and probably she went like to image and she went image size and she was like oh my god it's 12.81 centimeters and resolution 72 that's not good it is not good resolution for 72 is resolution for screens and it's a really, really small picture. So I'm going to use inches because <laughs> centimeters is like, I, I don't understand. Width, I'm going to put eight. So I am already, she is, the girl is like, you know, bumping up the, like, pimping up the, the, the image, like making it big. and. But also she went like to the resolution and she went like, okay, I'm going to add 300 because I have heard that that's the resolution to use, but she's right. That's the resolution for printing, and it's really good for whatever you have to do. Maybe this is if this is not for San Valentine's Day, if you have to do a homework, and this is the only picture you have of your grandpa or whatever you're doing, and it's small, you can, you know, just put resolution 300. But that will create a really big image with a really big issue, which is, is just pixelated more than it was before so now you have to compromise because the only way for you to fix the pixelation is by adding noise and graininess and we are you know lucky because graininess is really in fashion right now everything retro is really good and you know it makes you remember you know the texture of you know film so that's fine. We can add some graininess to it and it will look better than this. This is not presentable, you know, but images with graininess, film texture, it's fine. So let's do that. Okay. First of all, this is 100. If you can see, it's 100%. So it's a big image. You can use it for whatever, but it's pixelated. This is where we go to filter and add noise to it. Add noise. And it's going to look like this. So she will go like, oh my God, this is not good. This is messy. It, well, it is messy. It looks a little bit messy, but you know, it's fine because it it's not messy. It's film texture. Just make sure it's uniform and monochromatic. And you have to really take, you know, your time in this. You don't want to go over here because that's too much. You don't want to go like, oh my God, I'm so scared. I'm just going to put like a little bit because it's not going to work. You have to put some uh, noise to it. Just don't be afraid. We are in San Valentine's Day. What worse can we get? So 
if this works. Okay, so 9.51 is fine. Uh, what you're looking for is to add some texture back to the picture because the picture have gone through a lot and it needs some texture. So that's what you're doing right now. So maybe a little bit more. I don't, I don't know. Maybe, yeah, this is fine. I like it this way. So I'm going to leave it as 11.85, but that will, you know, vary in whatever picture you're using. Okay, so if we go here and do the before and after, you can see that this is just pixelated and this is just graininess, but it looks better. Yes, it looks better. Now, we can see in this area over here, a decoloration that is happening is, that's just not appealing. And here also, well, there is a, something that we can fix that but we're not going to use it right now because what we need right now is to add some sharpness to the edges of the picture so it looks sharp we go to filter sharpen and we're going to do on sharp mask okay this is just a mess do not attempt to use threshold because that's just just bad and if you use a lot of radius it's just ugly so do not do that. We are going to be working with the amount a lot. And the radius is going to be a complement. A complement? Uh, just a company for the amount. So it has to be really, really, really non-existent, basically. So 0.6 is good. Maybe if we turn the amount down a little bit, we don't need that much. Remember, we're in 100%. So this is quote unquote how it would look in real life. Maybe we put a little bit more radio. We're just trying to do a, you know, we were just trying to bring some of the, some of the edges up and chart. Well, in this case it will be 63 and 4.2. That's fine. Now we're going to diffuse the image a little bit. So we're going to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And you know, now it's a little bit more subtle. You can go a little bit less with the Gaussian blur like that. So it looks a little bit better. And now we're going to go to uh, filter, uh, noise, reduce noise. Now we're going to reduce the noise that we already created. And make sure that you are clicking here in remove JPEG artifact. That will remove those that decoloration that happened, you know, in the image when we blown it out, blown it up or down up or whatever. When we just like vamp it up or you know, you know what I'm trying to say. And here in strength, you are just gonna play with this. This is the strength of the actual reducing the graininess. So I put 10, the 10, and preserve preserve details obviously you want to preserve details so that's 100 percent reduce color that's 100 percent and sharpen details if you go 100 percent that will be too sharp so make sure that you don't sharpen that much because we already sharpen it so just leave it at 31 in this picture and whatever picture you have is another story so we finish as you can see we are in 100 percent and this is better than this I'm sorry. If you don't believe that, you have some problems and you have to take some vitamin C. This is just film. It looks good. And it, it remembers you like, you know, film. So it's fine. And if you go like a little bit less in the zoom, it's good. You can use it for whatever you edit. First of all, it's a big image because we, uh, you know, increase the size. And it's good, like, f f you know, in comparison with what we had at the beginning. So right now, the girl is like, oh, my God, you saved my life. You saved my life. Okay, I cannot do that. That's just something I cannot do. But um, I, can, I can really help you with Photoshop. How about that? And I have another channel where I do blogs. So you can, you know, watch me there, too. So please do. Because I need money. We all need money right now. And 
I'm gonna celebrate my um, San Valentine's Day with a cup of cereal and Netflix. How about that? Okay, thank you for being here with me. If you have any comments, please comment. And if you have any likes that you wanna give me, don't be shy. And if you wanna subscribe, do it too. Click on, <laughs> click on the subscribe button. And thank you for watching. See you next time.